Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is another flight of the Tarantula X6. Um, a couple days ago, I did a flight using a um, anti-vibration mount that I had built myself. Uh, it used irrigation tubing for the anti-vibration feature. Uh, that didn't work out too well. When I was flying it, the, it actually, the, the stiffness, I'm getting word from my viewers that the stiffness of this tubing was probably too stiff and the vibrations from the quadcopter itself were being transmitted to the camera. Um, but keep in mind folks, I have balanced these props already. If you notice, there's tape on edges here of most of these props. So the props had been balanced. And I also noticed in that flight when I was in hover that there was no jello effect. I would not see any jello in that video. So I have my doubts that this is really the cause, but we'll find out today. We're going to use, uh, this is, um, aquarium tubing that I find at my local Walmart. Uh, it's $1.88 for 8 feet of this tubing, so it's very dirt cheap, easy to do, easy to, to implement. And so I decided to do that and try it out today. Uh, other suggestions I've seen from folks are to use surgical tubing. Now surgical tubing is a lot harder for me to find. If you know where you can purchase that, uh, I, I'll take any hints from my viewers here. Uh, our local stores are Walmart, Lowe's, and Kmart. So if it's in one of the departments of one of those stores, please let me know. If, it's, if I have to purchase it uh, mail order, it's less likely, likely I'll be able to uh, demonstrate it here in the near future. So we're going to give it a try using this aquarium tubing. Uh, pay particular attention to when I'm in hover versus when I'm in forward flight. Again, I'm theorizing that the, the cause of this jello is actually aerodynamic drag from the air going over this uh, uh, oblong shaped, uh, this rectangular shaped uh, Mobius camera which is creating a lot of vortices behind the camera itself, which is causing the vibration. That's what I feel personally, uh, but we'll find out. Let's send it up for a flight and see if this actually works. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, the quadcopter's been bound. Well, now it's been bound. Cameras are recording. Let's go for a flight. Okay, again, I'm starting off in hover. Okay, folks, do you see any jello? While we're in hover, I'll go and put it in a, into a slow turn. How about now? You see any hover while I'm turning? I really don't think it's the mouth itself. Okay, let's go into forward flight. I bet you're starting to see some jello now. I bet you the jello is showing up now because I'm really moving here. Let's do a bank turn. Yeah, I really, really don't think it's the mount, but we'll find out. Let's go to expert or intermediate. Now, this is some real high speed flying. Actually, let's go to expert. It's really going fast now. Is the jello showing up? I bet you it is. Okay, back to beginner. So I'm, I'm going to try to keep it in the beginner mode here. Uh, in beginner, there's less wind going over that quadcopter. So I'm, I'm guessing that uh, there's less drag on the quadcopter in beginner mode. Boy, this thing climbs like a rocket real fast. You really, really got to be careful with it. <laughs> it can bust, like I said in the other video, it'll bust 400 feet in an instant. Okay, that, it's not a, near the end of its range here. I had a little drop bot there. I'm going to come down. I'm way too high. Let's try some low altitude flight over the bushes here. <laughs> On the edge of the field. Coming down lower.
Well, is that mountain working, folks? <laughs> I'm going to bring it a slow pass by myself here. Well, that seems level. Everything seems to be fine, so let's send it down by the pylon. Send it to the other end of the field by the other pylon. As I mentioned, none of my other quadcopters can fly this range without. My, uh, I do have a modified WL Toys transmitter that can, that can make some of the WL Toys uh, quadcopters fly this far, but I have to pay attention to point the uh, reflector at the quadcopter. This one here has got an omnidirectional antenna, so that's good. I get this great range with an omnidirectional antenna. I'm hoping this works out because this would be a great camera bird uh, for our local mountains our local uh, canyons, especially with this range. Again, I'm staying in beginner's mode. There's no wind today, so there's no wind that I have to fight. So I might as well leave it in beginner's to try to minimize vibration. Try the uh, headless mode at. I'm in the right forward quadrant. Let's see, I lost orientation. Pulling back to the left back quadrant should bring it back to me. And what do you know? <laughs> this headless mode does work as a return to home. See my other video for those who haven't seen it. Okay, back out of headless mode. I did a video that shows how to use the, uh, I guess it's IOC, hyper IOC function, intelligent orientation control, how to use it as a return to home feature. It does work. This remembers the heading uh, that set it, the uh, binding of the quadcopter throughout the flight. It has a magnetic compass. It doesn't forget. So with that in mind, you can use it as a return to home. climb up high again. Let's do a climb while moving forward. Increasing throttle a bit. And slowing down my forward movement. So most of that power is going into the climb. I'm not doing a high speed climb, folks. I, I want to try to preserve these motors. Again, with this larger brush motors like on the V262 and on this quadcopter, you want to be, try to be delicate with them. <laughs> I don't do acrobatic flights with this quadcopter. I did that with the V262. If, somebody, if some of you have seen that video, both that and this can fly very acrobatic if you want to, but it will burn out a motor in doing such. Again, my main intent for this bird here is aerial video. And that, it seems to do very well. If I can get rid of that vibration effect, this will be my uh, quadcopter of choice for aerial video. Okay, I think we've done enough to prove that this 
whether this mount works or not. So I'm going to do one more turn around the field and then I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Send it up high over my head, and then we'll do a rapid descent. That'll be the ultimate test of the wind on this quadcopter. <laughs> Going to hover. Climbing. Rotating in hot and climb. And going to expert. Rapid descent. Back to beginners. <laughs> And let's bring it for a landing. Well, actually, I need to get my thumbnail. <laughs> Here, I'm doing my thumbnail views. Let's send it one time around the in the other direction. The wind's blowing this way. There is a wind, by, right, by the way, right now. Thumbnail view. <laughs> and we'll bring it in for a landing. And welcome back. Well, hope, hopefully that worked. We'll see. <laughs> okay, Quadcopter 101, hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.